The paradox of value, also known as the diamond water paradox, is the apparent contradiction that, although water is on the whole more useful, in terms of survival than diamonds, diamonds command a higher price in the market. Former open pit diamond mine, now inactive, located in Mini, eastern Siberia. The mine is 525 meters deep, fourth in the world, and has a diameter of 1,200 meters. It ceased operations in 2001, having produced 10 million counts of diamond per year at its peak. Bingham Canyon Mine in Utah, the world's biggest man-made pit. This mammoth mine measures 4 kilometers wide and drops 1.2 kilometers into the ground, the result of extraction begun in 1863. The awe-inspiring fruits of its labor include more than 17 million tons of copper and 715 tons of gold. The Avic Diamond Mine is an open-cast mine like no other. Gouged into a 20 square kilometers island, 220 kilometers from the Arctic Circle, there are particularly jaw-dropping views of this cold spot when the surrounding waters freeze over. The Katy Diamond Mine is North America's first commercial diamond mine, having opened in 1998. It's actually only a stone's throw from the Diavik, just 20 kilometers mine closer to the Arctic Circle. The Ardaknia mine in Russia is a gigantic open pit diamond mine that plunges more than 600 meters into the Earth's crust, controlled by Orosa, Russia's largest diamond company. Its name means a place of small stones in Sitswana, but this mine's significance to De Beers and to the people of Botswana is unparalleled. The world's richest diamond mine by value, located in south central Botswana about 160 miles southwest of Gaboron contributes between 60% and 70% of Debswana's revenue. The Oropa Diamond Mine is the world's largest diamond mine by area. It is located in Oropa, a town in the Bottiti subdistrict of Botswana and is owned by Debswana, a partnership between the De Beers Company and the government of Botswana. Oropa operates seven days per week and produces 20 million tons per year of ore and an additional 40 million tons per year of waste rock. The Venetia Diamond Mine is South Africa's largest producer of diamonds. An open pit mine is one of De Beers' six remaining diamond mines in South Africa and the only major diamond mine to be developed in the country during the past 25 years. The mine was opened in 1992. In 2004 it had 955 employees and recovered 7,187,300 carats, 1,437.5 kilograms of diamonds. Located in the East Kimberley region in the remote north of Western Australia, Argyle is the largest diamond producer in the world by volume, although due to the low proportion of gem quality diamonds, is not the leader by value. It is the only known significant source of pink diamonds, producing over 90% of the world's supply. It is currently transitioning from an open pit mine to an underground mine. Six thousand eight hundred sixty-two, almost seven thousand, are the world's largest dams and counting. One thousand nine hundred two are in the USA. 
543 in Japan, 252 in Spain and 53 in Portugal. Many dams on this map serve purposes other than hydropower, water storage, flood control and irrigation amongst others. The Takaru Dam, means grasshopper's water, translated from Tupi language, is a concrete gravity dam on the Tocantins River located on the Takaru County in the state of Para, Brazil. The main purpose of the dam is hydroelectric power production and navigation. It was the first large-scale hydroelectric project in the Brazilian Amazon rainforest. The large dark area visible in the image center is the reservoir that was formed by the Tucaru Dam on the Tocantins River, flooding some 2,430 kilometers of land. Satellite images show that enormous areas of Amazon rainforest were cleared, mostly along an arc of deforestation on the southern boundary of the Amazon basin. Twenty years later much of the forest is gone, replaced by soy fields and cattle pastures. Severe droughts in 2005 and 2010 increased the frequency of fire, and have reinforced concerns that the Amazon is reaching a tipping point where large areas of forest could be replaced by a more savanna-like ecosystem. On May 15, 2006, Chinese news media reported that engineers were pouring the last of the concrete to finish the construction of the massive Three Gorges Dam on the Yangtze River in central China. The dam is intended to provide flood control and hydroelectric power. When all the generators came to operation, 2009, Three Gorges became the largest hydroelectric project in the world. About 1.3 million people had to be located as about 100 towns were submerged. The world's second largest hydroelectric power plant, situated on the Parana River on the border of Paraguay and Brazil, has a generating capacity of 12,600 megawatts, took 18 years to build at a cost of about 18 billion US dollar. Environmental consequences, mainly impacts on the natural vegetation, including rare fruit tree, brush, and orchid species, were enormous. Much species endangerment and deforestation took place in the initial stages of the project's construction. This large reservoir in Venezuela's Bolivar state was created by the Guri Dam on the Caroni River. It is 1,300 meters long and 162 meters high. The lake it created destroyed thousands of square miles of forest formerly renowned for its biodiversity and rare wildlife, including the only place where the recently discovered Carizel Cedita, a finch-like tanager, was ever found. Begun in 1933 and completed in 1942, Washington State's Grand Coulee Dam created the Franklin Delano Roosevelt Lake, a reservoir on the Columbia River. Besides serving as North America's largest hydroelectric facility, the dam has helped irrigate more than 600,000 acres, roughly 2,400 square kilometers, of farmland. At the same time, however, the dam has also blocked migration and impeded spawning of native fish. The Sayano, Shushinskaya Dam is located on the Yenisei River, near Sayanogorsk in Karkasha, Russia. It is the largest power plant in Russia and the sixth largest hydroelectric plant in the world, by average power generation. On 17 August 2009, the station suffered a catastrophic accident that caused flooding of the engine and turbine rooms and a transformer explosion. 74 people were confirmed dead and power generation from the station ceased completely following the incident. Aluminium smelters in Sayanogorsk and Karkasha were completely cut off from the grid. The accident caused an oil spill with at least 40 tons of transformer oil released. The Roboborosa generating station, formerly known as La Grande 2, is a hydroelectric power station on the La Grande River that is part of Hydro-Quebec's James Bay project in Canada.
Water Falls 245 feet, located on the Churchill River in Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada. Since 1970, the waters of the Churchill River have been diverted into the nearby Churchill Falls hydroelectric power station. Today water flows down the falls less than once a decade, during spring thaw or periods of exceptional rains. Hoover Dam, once known as Boulder Dam, is a concrete arch gravity dam in the Black Canyon of the Colorado River, on the border between the U.S. states of Arizona and Nevada. It was constructed between 1931 and 1936 during the Great Depression and its construction was the result of a massive effort involving thousands of workers and cost over 100 lives. Hoover Dam in Pounds Lake Mead, and is located near Boulder City, Nevada, a municipality originally constructed for workers on the construction project, about 25 miles, 40 kilometers, southeast of Las Vegas. The changes in water use caused by Hoover Dam's construction has had a large impact on the Colorado River Delta. The Colorado River had experienced natural flooding before the construction of the Hoover Dam. The dam eliminated the natural flooding, which imperiled many species adapted to the flooding, including both plants and animals. The construction of the dam devastated the populations of native fish in the river downstream from the dam. Four species of fish native to the Colorado River, the bonetail chub, Colorado pike emino, humpback chub, and razorback sucker, are currently listed as endangered. Today, the Colorado River does not reach the sea. On April 12, 2012, Greenpeace flew over the region of Altamira to record in pictures the construction sites of Belo Monte and its impacts on the forest, river and city. Back to our paradox and the difference between price and value. Of course the cost of production as we have seen is another story, 